that a simple 20-foot metal box like this could completely transform the way we do business. Well, back in the 1950s, a humble yet clearly gifted truck driver from the east coast of the United States of America came up with a rather courageous suggestion that would forever change the way we do business. Malcolm McLean, a hands-on owner-come-truck driver, thought that containers were the solution to global transport. He committed to his idea, and the maiden voyage of the Ideal X from Port Newark to Houston was a voyage that was tenacious, progressive, and very, very real. And so tonight, I want to invite you on a voyage of our own. Tonight, we have reason to celebrate both past and future events. And Gulf Tainer invites you, our partners, leaders of industry, those who have inspired and shaped the industry in which we work today, to join with us as we look back at our own story of cooperation and commitment. This is a story that's required courage of its own, of a nimble and progressive partnership that has unlocked a unique potential, born in the Emirate of Sharjah and is now proud to count itself with you, a truly global partnership. seas have enticed many brave men to discover lands unknown. And the seas themselves have been a source of business and facilitated trade between nations. Whether it was the legendary traveller, Ibn Battuta, who embarked upon a voyage to see the world, or closer to home, the more courageous pearl divers and fishermen, who would leave on their dows for months on end, the seas have played an integral part of life in the Middle East. And it's this drive and tenacity of the people of the UAE that has helped shape this once tiny trucial state into the booming center of business that it is today in a relatively short period of time. Now, the importance of the sea to the UAE is not a revelation to anybody in this room. And building on that rich maritime history, Gulf Tainer is today like a lighthouse, standing in the port and shipping industry. It stands proud because of the work that it does for its partners. And it's constantly looking out, searching for new opportunities and new growth. A lighthouse is also a signal. And I can imagine that nothing would have been more exhilarating to those fishermen and pearl divers as they returned home to see that familiar beacon as they finally anchored their dows on those Sharjah shores. And now today, our ports are home to many, many more people. Thriving businesses have been built up around our ports and families from many different nations now call the UAE home. This is our history. These are our roots. This is Gulf Tainer. Our ports are the main artery at the heart of a nation. And behind any successful nation is a bustling port, striving to serve efficiently the seamless movement of goods and cargo. Now the world today looks very different than it did in the 1950s. And ports like Hong Kong, Rotterdam, Singapore, Long Beach, Valencia and Durban have all played their part in shaping the world of transport that we know today. Well, the UAE has also built a reputation of its own. Its unique location offers a strategic advantage to the ships on the main east-west highways. And combined with a booming center of business at home, 
This is not so much the Middle East, but the middle of the world. Back in 1976, as containerization was in its infancy, Gulf Tana and the Sharjah Port Authority built and operated what was at the time the first container terminal in the Arab world. And the voyage of the MV Tariq was at that point a significant milestone in transport history. This is where the Gulf Tana story begins. With one berth and around 20 men, the first container operation started. And we've not looked back since. We've now developed that business, and Sharjah Container Terminal is a vital port for a flourishing gateway market in Sharjah. Every week, more than 50 shipping lines call that terminal. We operate the port with more than 300 people, some of them dating back to the original team of 1976. Ten years later, 1986, Gulf Tainer was awarded the concession to manage and operate Khorfakan Container Terminal. That was soon to become a port that set records worldwide in terms of productivity. And it would become a watchword for efficiency in the transport community. News of our success spread quite rapidly. And soon after, we made an agreement in 2004 with the Kuwait Port Authority to advise on operations in Shuwait Port. And in 2006, we managed the port of Moroni in the Comoros Islands. By 2008, we'd expanded our activities into Turkey and to Pakistan. And with a growing emphasis on logistics activities, we opened our own 3PL company, Momentum Logistics. 2010 saw the largest foreign venture at the time by Gulf Tana, with our entry into Iraq, where we operate two container terminals and a state-of-the-art logistics facility. 2010 also saw our landmark agreement with Prominvest to enter into Russian logistics. And our agreement with the Usluga port was the start of a comprehensive <coughs> logistics strategy in Russia. In 2012, Gulf Tana entered into the Brazilian market, starting operations in Recife port, bringing back container activities into that port. And in 2012, we were also awarded the concession to operate and to manage the port of Tripoli in Lebanon. But most significantly, in 2013, we started activities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where we operate ports in both Jeddah and Jubail. Now the significance of our home ports cannot be underestimated. Our plans for Port Khalid and Khorfakan are well defined. We will invest in Khorfakan port, in the key, in equipment and in the yard infrastructure in order to continue handling the largest vessels in the world, reaching a capacity of 8 million TUs by 2020. We will also invest in Port Halid in order to handle what were once mainline vessels, now calling the gateway market of Sharjah. In 2013, our productivity levels remained consistently high. In fact, we were recognized by the US independent publication, the Journal of Commerce, which ranked Gulf Tana the fastest terminal operator in the Middle East, Europe, and Africa. In fact, we're the only non-Asian terminal operator in the top five. And our productivity levels are almost twice that of the port ranked in 10th position. So we are now the largest terminal operator in the Middle East. We are the world's largest private and independent terminal operator. In fact, our key length is the equivalent of 10 Burj Khalifas laid end to end. By 2020, this will increase to 50 Burj Khalifas. That will allow us to handle 19 Marco Polo vessels laid end to end. 
We pride ourselves on our productivity levels. And the number of containers we move each hour of every day is the equivalent of moving 460,000 people every hour. That's five Wembley stadiums a day. The equivalent of, of moving the entire population of the UAE twice every day. Or the equivalent of 20,000 Sharjah taxis. We know because our clients tell us that our productivity levels are at the top of industry standards. That allows us to move more containers every day and to turn ships around in our ports faster than any other place in the world. Now the heartbeat of any good container terminal is in the container yard. And Gulf Tainer's annual capacity expectations are that the containers passing through our yards would be sufficient to stretch all the way around the world and still have enough left over to reach the summit of Everest. In fact, those containers hold enough space to contain enough apples to feed the entire population of the world an apple a day for a month. And that's indicative of the way in which we see ourselves, not just as a container terminal operator, but part of a global supply chain, an integral part of the movement of essential goods worldwide. And so, our vision is developing. Our home base in Sharjah is strong, experienced and reputable. We will continue to invest in and look after our home market, but at the same time, we're looking out for new opportunities and for new partnerships where we can export our homegrown talent to new markets globally. And our early expansion has been successful. The values that we bring from our past have served us well. Our vision is to work with our partners, a partnership that comes from cooperation and commitment rather than coercion and control. So over the next six years, we have ambitious plans. Plans that are, can only be achieved with you. By 2020, we aim to operate 35 terminals globally and to handle 18 million TUs. Gulf Tengna currently has a vibrant and a comprehensive pipeline of projects in order to achieve this. We see opportunities continuing for Gulf Tainer in the Middle East, but still closer to home in India, in Africa, and in the Mediterranean. We've expanded already into Brazil, and we see that opportunity opening up chances for us in South America, the Caribbean, and in North America. And as global trade patterns continue to change and rely ever increasingly on the Far East, there too we see opportunities where our values will be of benefit. So how can we compete and succeed in the years ahead? We will not walk away from a challenge. We're committed to you and to new opportunities. We will stay nimble. We work hard, we're dedicated, and we move quickly. And we will be strong. We are both financially and operationally reliable, a credible business partner. And as we embark upon this latest and certainly most exciting part of our journey, we invite you, our partners, to be with us. Internally, our partners are our employees. You are the heartbeat of our organization. You make us Gulf Tainer. Our customers have supported us over the last years, and we look forward to a continued partnership and a wider and a larger cooperation together. And to all of our other partners, there are many of you, and many of you here tonight, 
be you banks, financial institutions, governments, port authorities, contractors, consultants, suppliers. We are one. And we are excited about our future together. But as we take these next steps, we will update our image. Not our name and not our values. Our commitment to you remains unchanged. But it's important that our look reflects the successes of the last 38 years and supports our vision for the future. And so our new logo represents strength and consistency. It's a partnership of two characteristics. It brings elements from the past, it builds on these, and as we look out beyond our shores, we see a new, more exciting future. A more nimble, a more creative, yet still consistent partner. 